In this video, I'm going to show you how to brew your first batch of extract homebrew beer using Clawhammer Supplies starter brew system on a stovetop. Giddy up! The first thing we'll do is fill our kettle up with two to three gallons of water. Tap will work. Spring is better. Then we'll transfer the kettle to a stovetop and heat to 155 degrees. While that's heating up, we'll take our yeast out of the refrigerator. Dry yeast is good, liquid yeast is better. Once we've reached mash temp, we lower the heat and add our grain basket. We'll add half a pound of Crystal 150 and half a pound of chocolate malt. The grain will come with the cheesecloth, but you don't need it. You can just dump the grain right into the basket. Next, set a timer for 30 minutes. Try to maintain the 155 degree mash temperature and whatever you do, don't let the temp exceed 175. After the mash, elevate the grain basket and allow it to drain for five minutes. Once that's complete, take the grain basket out, put your kettle back on the stove and crank the heat up to high. We're aiming for a boil. While it's heating up, Go ahead and dump your grains. Clean the grain basket off because we'll be using it later. Once you've reached a boil, turn the heat completely off and add your Brewer's Best Amber Extract. Stir constantly while you're adding the extract. You don't want it to scorch. After that, add the dry malt extract. Turn the heat back up to resume the boil, but be very careful at this point. You don't want the kettle to boil over, so keep a watchful eye. Complete recipe details are on our website. Give that basket one last rinse and pop it back into the kettle. Once the boil starts, set a timer for 55 minutes. Just one note about the system we're using here. It is the starter system as the name implies, but it's completely modular and fully compatible with our complete standalone digital electric system. So if you start with this system and you wish to upgrade, you can do so at any time by visiting our website and purchasing the rest of the components. The first edition of hops is one ounce of East Kent Golding and will be added at 45 minutes left in the boil. While we're waiting for the next top edition, let's get our star sand solution ready, which will sanitize the fermentation bucket. The second hop edition is another ounce of East Kent Goldings and will be added at 10 minutes left in the boil. Once the boil is complete, turn off the heat, pull the basket, and top the kettle off to 5 gallons with cold bottled water. The goal is to drop the temperature to 70 degrees for yeast pitching. If adding the cold water doesn't drop the kettle all the way down, you'll need to let it sit and cool, either outside if it's cold enough, or in a refrigerator if you have the space. Once your wort is cold, rinse your fermentation bucket out with star sand and transfer the contents of the kettle into the bucket. The included ball valve on the starter system makes this process easy. Once the wort is cold, I'm very careful not to touch anything that's going to come into contact with the beer that isn't sanitized. So I recommend using gloves at this point and soaking everything you're using with the star sand. This includes the yeast packet and the scissors you cut it open with. Pitch the yeast, rinse your lid with star sand, apply the lid, and shake for at least 60 seconds to aerate the wort. This will make the yeast happy. Once you're done with that, add an airlock. And place the bucket somewhere that will maintain a temperature of 65 to 72 for the next two weeks. At this point, all that's left to do in this brew day is clean the kettle. Clean the basket dry them, and put them away. Nice job, I'm proud of you. To learn more about the starter brew system, visit clawhammersupply.com. 
you might even be able to click a link on the screen. And if not, there's one in the description. Thanks for watching.